So first things first, yes, you're going to have a frequency generator again. You're going to change your frequency. Okay, you send some sound into a pipe. What's going to happen to the pipe? Both ends open. Means here will be anti note, here anti note. And that is the same for everything. So you can just write it down across all four pipes. And what are you going to do with the rest? Well, you're going to have a fixed length L of the pipe. It's going to, not going to change. So anti note, anti note. Cannot be just anti note all the way. So you have to have a node in the middle. So I'm going to put mm, node there. Ding. In fact, the pattern goes like this. The middle one will be node, then anti node, then node, then anti node. Okay, shortcut lah. Show you pattern lah, okay? So how to draw leh? You draw lo. You start anti node, node, and then like that. Okay. So that's your first harmonic. Da -da -da. And of course, you do the same process. The length is half a wavelength. What do you mean half? Nah, this is one loop. Just that you chop here and then you join at the middle. Become like that. Lo. So that's your thing. So this is actually the same as your, your fixed string experiment. You will see the same harmonic pattern come out. Okay, so this one is... So therefore, lambda is 2L and then you can keep going. So let's do a few, then I'll skip to the rest. Okay, so here A, 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 so I must have anti note in between, so we put anti note in between. Like that. Okay, Kella, something like that. Yeah, that's that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so something like this, like that, and like that. And of course, anti note, anti note. Same principle still apply, you are squeezing in half a wavelength which is one loop. So now you have two loops inside here, which means your length now is two lambda, wait, two lambda over two, which means your lambda one is just L. Okay, so you fit a full wavelength inside here already by, you, by the time you come to here. Same thing you do with the frequency. Fre first frequency, you call it fundamental frequency. La. Then the first one is F1 can be two times of F0, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to skip through a few and draw everything for you. Whoosh. There. Okay. So, um, if you continue to write your L, this one will be 3 lambda 2 over 2. Okay. And the last one, L will be 4 lambda 3 over 2. How do I get all these values from? Nah. I take the original. Okay. And then I do my magic, this one. God, what's the factor? Divide by 2. This one, okay. Here you can plus 2 plus, plus half wavelength. La, lambda over 2 plus lambda over 2 plus lambda over 2. And then you get all those things, okay. Then the, the wavelength, the lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. Divide by 2, divide by 3, divide by 4. From the original. So here, divide by 3. Then the last one, divide by 4. Okay, so what do you get for the last two? There will be 2 over 3. And 2 over 4, I guess. You can just write 1 over 2. La. I write 2 over 4. La. 2 over 4, L. Okay, same thing. Frequency also, times 2, times 3, times 4. So this will be 3, F0, 4, F0. This is your F2 and F3. Same factor here. You have times 2, times 3, times 4 of the original. Okay, so that is all your open closed pipes. This one is back to our good old all harmonics. Lah. You have all the harmonic. You may see equations in textbook, but you really don't need to know that unless you want to memorize it. Sure, but make sure you know what you're doing. Lah. Okay, so remember open, open tube, you have all harmonics times 2, times 3, times 4. But open closed tubes that we look at is odd harmonics, 3, 5, 7, all those kind of things. Okay, so there are different different kinds of tubes. If you look at the simulation, uh, this one, then you can also stare at all the different different things. And again, once again, remember this is displacement uh, position graph. So you can play with this, change your frequencies and see what you get. Okay. Hmm. To end the video, I want to remind you once again that all these loops we draw are actually the displacement graph of the particle or displacement position graph. Okay, because once again, air particles are particles vibrating longitudinally. So these are just representations of their displacement. So 
like what I mentioned just now, if they ask you to draw the graph of change in pressure, so pressure difference, lah, how would it look like? Oh, to go stare at the GIF again. So, hmm. First, you need to see where is the biggest pressure change. Where did I say has the biggest pressure change? The nodes are the one getting squashed a lot, right? So, where are the nodes? There they are, all the nodes, okay? So, at nodes, these poor fellas, they are staying there, no displacement, that's why they're at the node. But then, they always get squashed by their friend, and then their friend will go far away, then they get squashed. So, very big pressure variation. So, if I look for a change in pressure, I will put the highest there and zero here. So, these are where the nodes are. Okay, and then, maybe zero, maximum again. Oh, you can see that my spacing is not quite correct. They should be evenly spaced. So up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then the last one, anti node, down. Very zero pressure change. Okay, so we go up, down, up, down, up, and down, and up, and down. The key idea you need to remember is biggest pressure change at the nodes. And Exactly at the anti-node, no change in pressure at anti-node. Okay, this is the only thing you need to know because sometimes they will ask you in past years. So yeah, here's the animation. If you are still confused, just look at the graph on top because that's the one I was talking about. Okay, so where are our nodes? Look at the red arrows here. See, node, 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 see? How you know pressure high or not? You look at the spacing between the particles. Lo. See the node, they always get squashed, or at least squash. Oh. This is where you have your maximum change in pressure. See this pressure graph is changing, changing, changing. Okay, this is our change in pressure. Anti nodes, if you pay attention to the particles of the anti nodes, their spacing is pretty similar. They're like roughly about that width, and it just Move around. They don't get squashed. They don't, but they do squash other people. Okay, so that's what I mean by high high pressure change at anti nodes. This is what we're talking about. And of course, <clears throat> displacement graph up down at the bottom is what we usually draw at our um what we call our standing wave pattern lah. Okay, so you can draw your thing like that, like that, like that. Okay, so that's all for pipes and tubes.